Etymology and Historical Origin of the Baby Name Lila Lila is a pet form of the biblical name Delilah. The name Delilah has Hebrew origins, from the name, Lila, meaning, one who, weakens. Not the most positive meaning, we get it. But once you're familiar with Delilah from the Bible, then you'll understand. The name Delilah is born from the story of Samson and Delilah in the Old Testament book of Judges 16 verses 4 to 20. Arguably the first femme fatale in human history, Delilah is the manipulative seductress of Samson. The story goes that Samson was dedicated to God at birth by being born a Nazarite to a barren mother. Nazarites, as explained in Numbers, were not allowed to drink fermented beverages, come in contact with a corpse, or cut their hair, weird rules, we agree. Unfortunately, Samson could only stick to one of these rules, the hair part. Strong and mighty of proportions that only the Bible can conjure up, Samson roamed the lands eating animal carcasses, picking fights, killing people, antagonizing the Philistines and fornicating with prostitutes. Enter Delilah. Apparently, she had him at hello because he quickly divulges to her the secret source of his strength, his hair. Having received a bounty from the Philistines, Delilah arranges for his hair to be cut off while he unwittingly sleeps on her lap. Mighty like an ox was Samson, but apparently not the sharpest knife in the Israelite drawer and old Delilah took advantage of this fact, hey, a girl's gotta make a living, right? Despite her rather, ahem, colorful story, the name Delilah gained regular use among English speakers from the late 17th century onward. Usually considered more of an exotic name, people don't appear to be swayed by the general negative connotations of the biblical story. In fact, perhaps they embrace it. Lila is a simple shortened form of this seductive name. Personality of the girl named Lila Romance is the hallmark of the six personality. They exude nurturing, loving, and caring energy. Sixes are in love with the idea of love in its idealized form and with their magnetic personalities, they easily draw people toward them. Like the number two personality, they seek balance and harmony in their life and the world at large. They are conscientious and service-oriented, and a champion for the underdog. These personalities naturally attract money and are usually surrounded by lovely material objects, but their human relationships are always primary. They thrive in giving back to others rather than being motivated by their own desires. This is when they achieve great things. Sixes are natural teachers, ministers and counselors. Popularity of the girl named Lila Lila was in use in America back in the late 1880s and into the early part of the 20th century. However, she would disappear from the charts for about 100 years, not to re-emerge until 2006. Lila has since climbed up to moderate levels of popularity today. Lila, like names, Lila, Lila, H, Layla, etc., have really caught the eye of American parents in the 21st century. A little different than the ever-trendy Lily, Leah or Lucy, for instance. Lila is a livelier alternative to her more popular sisters, and the H on the end connects the name to Delilah. It's a cute, happy, bouncy name with an old-fashioned twist. And yet, Lila has a certain charming elegance at the same time. A darling choice for any lucky little girl. Quick facts on Lila. Gender, girl. Origin, English. Number of syllables, 2. Ranking popularity, 307. Pronunciation, Lila. Simple meaning, one who weakens. Characteristics of Lila. Affectionate, compassionate, humanitarian, sensitive, loving, community-minded, family-oriented. Cultural references to the baby name, Lila. Literary characters of the baby name Lila. Set in the magnificent culture of the Middle East more than 4,000 years ago, Lila is a rich and emotionally resonant story of faith, love, and courage. Living in exile, Lila is in love with Antinos, a Persian warrior. They have known each other since they were children, and Antinos dearly wants to make Lila his wife. Yet Lila does not feel she can marry without the blessing of her brother, Ezra. She and Ezra are close, and Lila knows her brother well, he does not want his sister to have a husband outside their faith. Ezra is a scholar of the laws of Moses, and Lila believes it is her brother's destiny to lead the Jewish people back to the promised land. 
While Antinos pressures her to accept his proposal, Lila realizes that before she can consider her own happiness, it is her duty to help her brother accomplish the seemingly impossible task that is before him. Putting herself in grave danger, and with the help of Antinos, Lila wins Ezra an audience with Artaxerxes, too, the king of kings, who grants permission to lead the exiles on their journey back to the promised land. After a hazardous trip across the desert, Lila, Ezra, and the thousands who join them arrive in Jerusalem. But the hardship of rebuilding the temple takes its toll, and the religious